Hello, you lovely ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys back to uh, Mengs Advance Wars. Uh, this is the custom Advance Wars 2 ROM hack that I've been working on alongside a small team. Uh, we haven't made a lot of progress on it, and I felt a little bit bad about that, so I felt like going back and uh, playing it. There's been a lot of new custom COs added uh, since last you guys checked, and uh, I thought that may be the best way. You can see some of them on the screen right here. from actually added them to the intro, which is really good. I thought that uh, it, it was time to go back and actually play this hack again and show you guys some of the new COs that we've added. And I thought the best way to do that was just to play the War Room. Uh, I like playing the War Room. It's fun to try and S-rank it. It's a good challenge. So uh, yeah, I think we're just going to start with Span Island. Maybe we'll actually play through some of the War Room maps and show off all the new COs. It's a great way to showcase them. And also challenge myself a little bit too by trying to get that S rank. Uh, Span Island is not that hard to S rank, but some of these other maps can be quite tricky to S rank. So we're going to start with Span Island. And as you can see right here, we've added a bunch of new CEOs. The Twins, we've added, uh, uh, see here, yeah, Pyre, Joan, and Folter. And Folter is the one I want to play in today's showcase because he's actually a lot of fun. So let's get into it. And this is against Itlog. <laughs> which is the CO based on me. You guys have seen him, me play him before. And he has Olaf's team. There's no custom music in this hack yet. We do have some music that's not used, that we've added. Uh, like, Itlog uses a very special theme, for example. But uh, Folter uses Olaf's theme as a placeholder until we can get some custom music into the ROM. So here he is. Folter, a brutal commander that pushes his units to their limit, hated by everyone but Sturm. Uh, his day-to-day -day is, or his hit is his cat, misses humans, and you may not notice this right away because he has such a dark color scheme, but he actually has a cat on his sleeve, which is really cute. Uh, his day-to-day -day is very cool. He gets 30% extra firepower, just he gets it straight up. However, whenever his normal power is ready, his fire power drops down to minus 10%, so that's essentially colon. Uh, and then when his superpower is ready, he drops down to a further minus 30%, which is very bad. His normal power, Shock Therapy, just damages his own troops. Just deals 3 global damage to his entire army and drains half their fuel. Which is really bad. However, you need to pop it to get your day-to-day -day back. So with Folter, you're actually really strong early on. He's an early game rusher, which is why he's quite good on a small war room map. However, the moment he gets his power, uh, he needs to seriously pop it unless he wants to fight at a big disadvantage. If he actually gets his superpower, then he can actually pop a slightly less devastating power called Warning Shot, which just deals the global damage and does not uh, do the fuel drain. So uh, if, if he has a very bad turn and he takes a lot of damage, for example, he can get away with just using Warning Shot instead of Shock Therapy. That's a better power for him to use. But most of the time, you'll probably just be using Shock Therapy to try and get back to that day-to-day uh, 30% -day firepower bonus, which is quite significant. I don't know how strong the CEO is in terms of, like, tier, but I do think he's quite strong in War Room maps. And I am up against Itlog. This is the CEO that won one of the earlier uh, streams. He is, of course, based on me. Uh, whenever his units are above half health, they get extra attack, but less defense. And whenever they are below half health, they get extra defense and less attack, which is quite a funny day-to-day. Uh, -day. And he says normal power extreme and superpower extravagant basically just enhances these day-to-day -day up to... They, they enhance the day-to-day -day powers up to 40% and 60% respectively. So it's just like... Uh, it's just, he, his day-to-day -day just gets stronger, basically. So... I thought we would try to S-rank Span Island. I actually don't even know if we'll even get to see the power. Because in order to get an S-rank, we have to beat Span Island in uh, 10 days. And I have no idea why I have these animations on. Uh, 10 days is the minimum S-rank requirement for Span Island. Uh, which it can be quite brutal uh, to reach. Now, I don't know if Itlog makes this harder or easier. Um, normally, I think you're up against Olaf here, or maybe it's Andy. I actually forget. In Advanced Wars 1, I think you're up against Olaf. In Advanced Wars 2, I think you're up against Andy. I would say that uh, Itlog is probably stronger than Andy, but the reduced defense might make it easier for me to mow down his troops. So it might be better. In kind of a... You can kind of say, like, at least when his troops are not injured, he's kind of like a mini Grim, which is maybe not a very good thing to be. But he only has 10% less defense, whereas Grim has minus 20%. So maybe that's a good thing. Maybe he's actually better than Grim. I actually don't know. But I'm going to try to build some early game recons and harass him. But we do need to get a tank out at some point because the AI likes to build tanks uh, of his own. Uh, he does like to open up in the APC, though. You can see how good the... the hey. Oh, sorry, I just had dinner. Oh, my bad. You can see how good the AI is. Base skips three bases on Span Island to get to afford an APC. Truly is remarkable strategy right here. Like, 
I really, um, maybe we should ask Kartal to improve the AI of this hack. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna get that building, but I'm gonna set up an infantry to interrupt it, and we'll see if I can get away with it. I could be a bit feisty, and I could just, like, base skip to build a tank, but I don't think that's a smart idea. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, I forgot to cap. That's great. Uh, great, great play from Mengs here. Uh, sh sh really demonstrating how much I've grown over the past few weeks. There we go, here comes Itlog. And he's pretty hard, but I also hit back pretty hard. Uh, because, you know, he has 20% extra firepower, I have 30. So, uh, let's just see how much damage my recon ends up doing to him. You can see my recons are very strong. So I think I am going to interrupt this cap like this, and then I'm just gonna try and shield the recons. There we go. And we don't want the recon to be attacked, obviously, so I'm gonna put my infantry like this as a shield, and I'm gonna put my tank in range. Like so. And then we're gonna attack- oh, look at that! 74% damage. 30% day today is pretty strong. I basically have Sami infantry. Which is pretty good, and all my troops fire as hard as Kombai does on a day-to-day -day, uh, bonus, except I don't have the defense. So not quite Kombai, but still really strong on a map like this, which is all about rushing down. As I said, I don't even know if we'll see the power. I might have to pop it, sadly. Uh, so the tank will go for this 5 HP infantry right here, because the AI loves to finish off units. So I'm gonna once again, I'm gonna base skip a little bit more. I actually think base skipping is okay on this map if you're going for an S rank, because it's not really all about getting the unit count, it's about trying to route in 10 days, which can be pretty hard to do. There we go, good job, Itlog. Now, I don't know why he's Blue Moon here. He should be Orange Star, but I'm not, maybe he's actually listed as a Blue Moon CR, I'm not sure. So yeah, actually, I have 40% extra firepower now that I think about it, because he has 10% less defense, I didn't even think about that, but yeah. So this is gonna hurt him a lot, look at this. 72% damage, that's great. Boom! That kinda sucks, but now, those tanks actually have extra defense, so, so it'll be harder for me to shoot them down. Now this artillery is actually pretty well positioned, so I can't really do a whole lot about it. But I can attack here. And actually, oh nice, I actually one-shot, sweet. Guess I got a good luck roll. So I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do this, and I do believe, so Itlog, is it below five health? With five or remaining HP, yeah. I think I actually requested that this be changed, so it's six to 10 instead of, instead of five to 10, because when you're at four health, it's really hard to keep your units alive, even with the defense increase, especially due to the way terrain stars interact with defense in this game. So, but I'm gonna try the cap here, we'll see if I can pull it off or not. Uh, building the artillery there, not exactly very smart, because it's not like he can guard it with anything. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep spamming tanks, there we go, we are on day 6, so we have to wrap this up in 4 days if we want the perfect S rank. So, we wanna try and keep our units alive, very important when you're getting a ranking, because that'll affect your, um, it'll affect your technique score if you lose units. Uh, you do want to actually spam cheap units for the technique score, uh, be because technique is based on how many units you deploy compared to how many you lose. But it's pretty easy to get a perfect 300 on Span Island, so you don't really need to spam cheap infantry. You don't really need to do that at all. However, if I go in here, I will probably lose my recon, so I don't, I don't really want to do that. I'm going to send this one down here instead. Alright, here comes the tank. And let's see what else he decides to do. Oh, he's, he's attacking with the mech, okay. Alright, that hurts a little bit, but he didn't wipe out my infantry, so it's fine. This might hurt a little bit? Yeah, that hurt quite a bit, actually. Alright, he's mech spamming again. God, the, the AI base skips a lot. Oh, look at this! Perfect 100 on the recon. That's actually really cool. Oh, that's actually amazing. I guess Falter is a good match against Itlog. Alright, so I can wipe out the mech. If I pull back my, my weakened infantry and I go like this, I'm pretty... Yeah, 91%. That's very good. And then if I send in the other tank, like so, I can deal... Oh yeah, look at that. 64% damage. Really good. Falter is insane. I don't think I showed you guys. Uh, did I show the actual firepower screen? Yeah. So it has. The, we have the defense patch applied, so you can see defense right here. So you can see it logs day to day, as well as my day to day. I would definitely say Falter's a better 
see how then, then it's locked. But on big maps with a lot of battles taking place, I actually think he'll be very tricky to use. Like, extremely tricky to use. Because dealing three damage globally to your entire army is actually insane. I mean, a 30% day-to-day -day firepower increase is also insane, but this might be even more insane. I just wonder if we'll actually get to see the power. I think we will, because uh, we, we still have uh, we still have three days left. But I do actually have to try and play to win here. It's I think I might have to go for an HQ cap if I want to beat this. But usually the uh, the power does come in towards the end. Now I think in order to in order to beat or in order to guarantee an S rank, I think you need ten days. But I think you might be able to get the speed rank S rank if you complete it in eleven. I'm not entirely sure. It's been a while since I war room. Uh, you can combine units, by the way, and this is not a terrible thing to do, because combining units does not... It, it, they're not treated as being killed when you do that. So it's actually not a terrible thing to do. But I think for now, we will just build fast units. Yeah, we will just build fast units right now. We, we can't... Afford, like, building infantry at this point is, doesn't gonna, isn't going to matter, because they won't come into play and be effective. So, uh, yeah, I do believe that artillery should have less firepower now. Because it's a 4 HP, so that's good. There we go. And here comes the tanks. That's not really going to do a whole lot. But those tanks have increased defense now. Because they're low. Man, good thing he built that APC, am I right? Alright, day 8. So we have to start capping tomorrow? Oh boy, um, we have to start capping tomorrow. We have a- oh god, he's mech spamming so hard though. He is mech spamming like an absolute idiot here. Uh, so how much do my tanks do? 91%. God, I wish I had some kind of firepower increase. Like a comm tower or something. Okay, can I bust through this somehow? I cannot, I think. But I need to get this infantry in position to cap. So, I need to attack here. I need, I need to start capping the HQ tomorrow if I want the 10-day victory. So, that means we have to kill this. And we have to do... We have to make sure that the infantry capping will not get damaged. Very important. So, um... Oh, shit. I might have to pop the power before I cap. That is quite terrible, actually. I might need a secondary infantry then. Ooh! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I just realized that. I'm gonna cap the city, you know, just to just to do it. Get rid of this infantry as well. And then if we do this, we can uh, take down this infantry as well. And now we have a, a recon in the south that can come in and clear out some units. That APC might be a little bit annoying if he uses it as a shield. We'll see if he does that or not. Uh, but we can wipe out this infantry right here. It's now gone. And we definitely have to attack the mech. We can't kill it, but we can attack it. Yeah, the AI mech spams a lot on Spawn Island when it's behind. I don't know if it's part of its script or whatnot, but it, it, it just it will just spam out the mechs like there's nothing else. Uh, and I think if we rely on some luck rolls here, we can actually do this, try to keep this infantry on the base. But if we rely on some luck rolls right now, I think we might just be able to kill this tank, even though, oh, that might not that might not have been such a good idea, actually, now that I think about it. One, two, three. Ooh. I think it's going to be tough, actually, to get the uh, HQ cap on day 10 with the CO, because, well, maybe I, maybe, I, maybe I should just shoot and pop his power, but at the same time, I kind of want to show it off, you know? <laughs> maybe, maybe I just have to settle with the fact that I won't get an S rank. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to send this uh, tank over here. And I'm probably just going to build recons, I think. Something fast that can make it there quickly. As well as this... This infantry will probably die, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Alright, let's see what he does. Will he pop his power? <laughs> this is probably not going to work, but I'm trying it anyway. Extreme! There we go. So that sets his firepower up to 40%. When his units are us. This is probably a one-shot. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's a one-shot, all right. And this is probably a one-shot, too. I guess I shouldn't be too overly concerned with the AI base blocking itself when it's already base skipping like crazy. Yeah, this is a kill, too. 
Okay, this is gonna be tricky, and I might have my power ready now, so that means my day-to-day -day is gonna suck. I wonder... Ah, man. The seal's broken, who made him? Okay, so now I have my power ready, so let's check the day-to-day. -day. I don't think it's reflected. Let's actually see... Let's actually see some damage numbers here. Yeah, you can definitely see it's it's working. So, uh, yeah, you can... It's not reflected in the day-to-day. -day. Maybe I have to do an engagement before... Yeah, yeah, so... Uh, the way this patch works is that you have to take an engagement before the value changes. Because the, the values are based on the, rec the most recent engagement you did. So, uh, in case you're wondering why it doesn't update properly, that's just how the patch works. But yeah, now you can see my units suck now. They have 10% less firepower. But is it worth it to pop my power to get rid of that? I mean, we, we have to show off the power, don't we? Neither man nor machine can withstand my men. I think that's a uh, that's an alteration on uh, Olaf's quote. Oh, shit! And it drains half their fuel too, but it puts puts me back to thirty percent, and also get the passive boost. So I get that ten percent increase, which um, I think it's gonna make the S rank very tough, though. <laughs> it's gonna make the S rank very tough to obtain, but. Wait, I still do 77% damage. That's kind of weird. Is it not working properly? Let me check. Uh, it should work. I don't know why it didn't. Oh, no, 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 of course. I did this. Okay, no, it is working. I have taken three damage since last I checked. That's why. Yeah, okay. I thought it was bugged, but it's not. It's, uh, it's working properly. It's just I've taken global damage on myself. Yeah, I think this CO is difficult to use right now. I, I thought he was very strong, but I gotta be honest, the global damage he does to himself, man, that's tough. That is tough. Seven, or three global damage is a lot. And it's only on him. He doesn't even get to repair because he has to pop it on the same turn. So I'm, I'm wondering if it's even worth it to pop it, honestly. And if he waits until his superpower, then he gets minus 30%, so he can't really wait. But yeah, I think if I push forward now, I just lose, right? So... I think we kind of just have to play it, play it safe here. I think I'm gonna... Um, I don't have this town. I think I'm actually just gonna go over here. Could take a shot at this mech, maybe. There we go. And then I can send my tank down here to rests, and... If I put my mech, if I put my infantry here, I will probably lose it, but I want to get this, wait, did I not capture here? Did I really press wait? That was not intentional. That was definitely not intentional. Oh wow, it logs being aggressive right here. Oof, okay. Maybe, maybe I misjudged, uh, Falter. Probably not going to be as easy to S-rank with this guy as I thought. I mean, maybe it would have been better to just not pop my power, but I wanted to show it off, at least. Hmm. God, the AI is mech spamming so much. I mean, this is ridiculous. Look at this. I actually would have loved to have a mech right now, not gonna lie. Can I break through here in any way? I don't think I can. I think that's actually a perfect wall. Um, yeah, that is a perfect wall. Unless... No. Hmm. I don't think there's any way I can kill this mech. I'd be very surprised if there was a way. Why did I not rep... Guys. This tank did not get repaired. Did you guys see that properly? I don't think my tank got repaired. Hmm. Could be a bug, maybe? I don't know. These things kind of happen when you when you just play test. Okay, okay, all right. I don't think my tank either that or he got attacked by something, and I just I wasn't paying attention. Could be the case actually. There we go. All right, we gotta get rid of this uh, recon right here. Bye bye recon. And then we'll cap right here and uh, send in our fresh tank. We have new recons right here, which is good. 
Hopefully he doesn't pull back and then let the let the mech destroy the, <laughs> the recon. We'll see what happens here. But uh, we have... I could also combine them together. Might not be such a bad idea. They are kind of running low on fuel. Ah, yeah. I need to pay attention to the repairing of my tanks. Wait, that's not like part of his kit, right? No, okay. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't get repaired. That is incredibly weird. You know what? I need something to wall break infantry with, so I'm gonna get myself an untire here. And we also need to get rid of this mech if we can. There we go. Extra defense didn't help him much there. And we can't get past the stupid mech. And if I leave this if I leave this tank here, then No, I can't I can't let myself be shelled by artillery. That is just That is just not a good idea. Oh wow, okay, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. I could even attack here, but it's not 50% though, that's a lot. Ah! Okay, well, I'll just stay here. I do- I cannot let my tanks get shelled. Okay, it's attacking with- oh, oh. Oh, I think we're- I think we're in buggy territory, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I think we're- I think- I think something definitely broke. <laughs> I think we broke. This is why you have to play test. Because you got weird bugs like this. It seems for the most part to be a visual glitch though. Doesn't actually seem to impact the gameplay that much. But that repairing thing, I do have to I do have to take a, a further look on that. Okay, uh, Fulter kind of sucks, not gonna lie. This is like, doing global damage to yourself is so hard to deal with. And, well, it's gonna be... Okay, so now I did repair, so maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Could be the case, honestly. Okay, 56. I... Th that's a luck roll. I don't like it. I think we're just gonna have to... Okay, so wait. Wait. One, two, three, four, five... S yeah, okay, so... If I want to deal with the artillery, I'm gonna have to send in the tank. There we go. And now we can finally take out that pesky artillery. Or at least damage it to the point where it won't do a whole lot anymore. And now it has less firepower, too. Thanks to Itlog's day-to-day, -day, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, he's gonna take back that, isn't he? Um, God, these mechs, man. These freaking mechs. I hate them. Nothing like trying to uh, cap a guy's base while he's just spamming me. I mean, it works. You know, it's a bit of a desperation move, but it works. 99%, oh, that's lovely. Let's go. Beautiful. There is a small chance you might not win a 99%, by the way. There is a small chance. There is a very small chance. Okay, we have to. Uh, we have to try and get a first strike on these two mechs right here. So, I think we're, what we're gonna do... I think my 4 HP infantry might be able to do something here, so I'm gonna put... Oh, no. Oh, no, I miscalculated. I miscalculated. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'll send in the recons. Just please, God, let me let me wrap this up before another power comes in, because I will not, I will not survive three global damage on my units again. That is going to absolutely kill my push. So I am actually on the clock here, and not the S rank clock. I'm on the the other clock, the the Falter clock. You know, when I saw this CO initially, I was like, wow, he's gonna be busted. But now, no, he sucks. This this might be one of the worst COs in Max Vance Wars, actually. Uh, he may have a very good start, and he might be able to just overrun his opponent, but 30% day-to-day -day firepower on its own is not... It certainly gives you an edge. I'm not saying it doesn't. It gives you an edge, but it doesn't allow you to just steamroll your opponent. They will be able to survive it. And as soon as that power comes in, maybe the idea is to just stay on the... Like, just take the 10% firepower penalty. But then again, like, your superpower will come in, and that'll turn it down to 30%. And at that point, you will not be able to fight anymore. So maybe maybe the idea with Folter is just to delay the power for as long as possible. Maybe you don't want to pop it right away. Because I think the the thirty the three global damage hurts you a lot more than the 40% reduction in firepower. So, I don't know. Oh, okay, it's repairing his artillery. And three mechs! Three mechs, ladies and gentlemen. Three goddamn mechs. Three mechs. Three freaking mechs. 
Oh my goodness, the AI is just in mech spamming mode right now. It does not care about anything, it just wants to spam mechs. My goodness, I'm gonna get another power, aren't I? Okay, please, dear God, do not let me kill him before he, before I get my my power again. I am. I, I think we're past the S rank. <laughs> I think we are past the S rank, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think we're getting the S rank. I would be very surprised. Let's see. Um, hmm, hmm. let's rest up the infantry. I need a shield of some kind. I could try and keep this mech on the base, maybe. Probably not be the word. Wait, can I actually... Okay, I can reach this mech. That's very good. I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna take down... This recon is dead. I know that. There we go. And... What about here? Oh, no! My power! Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna ignore that. I cannot pop my power. If I pop my power, I'm dead. <sighs> Minus 10% firepower, though. I'm basically Colin now. This is awful. I don't think my art I don't think my anti will break him anymore, actually. Does that mean he has his power? Oh yeah, it does. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hmm. <laughs> God damn it. Oh no! Okay, it's fine. This artillery only has increased defense now. This recon, on the other hand. Okay, well, he went off his base. Oh boy, okay. What do we have here? More mechs? He's probably gonna build even more mechs. Please build an artillery, I swear to god. I know the AI is stupid sometimes, and it goes like, Oh, I need artillery. I'm gonna build artillery. I'll play combo. <laughs> Come on. Give me artillery. Come on, right now. Missiles. Nah. Oh, he actually did build the artillery, artillery though. Oh, this sucks. This Okay, it hasn't updated yet properly. Oh my god, this sucks so much. Look at this shit. Oh, my units are terrible now. They're absolutely terrible now. But I cannot pop the global damage. And if I do, by the way, I, I, I realize I did the stupidest thing. I sh you should not pop your... You should pop your power at the end of your turn, not at the start of it. Because I think 3 HP of damage is worse than a firepower penalty. You, you, you get the defense, but that's fine. I mean, you get the defense anyway. Um, ah, this sucks so much. I guess his troops are tired or whatnot. I think that's the idea. Alright, well, Antire still does a lot of damage to... Uh, to mech, so that's good. Might be able to base lock him a little bit right now, which is definitely what I need. But he gets the defense bonus from popping his power, so his units are a lot more uh, resilient right now. Okay, um, let's see, we'll do this. Actually, th I have a very good idea here, actually. Oh no, oh, oh, that might actually be good, because now I'm forcing the mech to stay. Um, now I'm forcing the mech to stay. I can do this, maybe trick the artillery into shooting on me. Yeah, I think I will do that. And then, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna do some damage to this infantry right here. Sucks to attack it on a mountain, I'm gonna take more damage than I, than I deal, but... With the other infantry coming in, it should be better. There we go. Man, this ended up being a lot more difficult than I thought. <laughs> like, so much more. I was, I was under the impression that I was just gonna stomp the AI in 10 days here. Okay, here we go. I think it might be time for more recons. I can build four recons. Never mind, three recons. I max mathed. All right, what is this artillery gonna do? Shoot on my. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect distraction right there. I just I have to wrap this up before my superpower is ready because at that point I have to pop it. I have to. Ba 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 ba. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Stupid mechs. But, he should not be able to- yeah, he built one mech right now. He built a single mech right now. So yeah, that's definitely the play. Just don't pop the power. Just do not pop the power. It's not worth it. Not at this point. We'll just- we'll deal with the 10% firepower decrease and just try to- 
try to punch down his troops at this point. Might be able to get a route. Uh, I need to play it. I need to play it safe though. Yeah, 69. Ah, I don't do any damage anymore. But I think a helpful thing in this situation right now is actually to keep the AI with injured units. That way they clutter up space, they take up repair funds, they block his own base. I don't actually think I want to kill unless it's like this to break a base. Like so. And I need another decoy for his artillery as well. This infantry I think we'll have to do on that front. Uh, but I want to get rid of this recon right here. I should be able to wrap things up tomorrow unless something goes very wrong. There we go, and we'll put this recon right here to b block the base. And then we have to find some kind of bait for his artillery, because the artillery will shoot on anything that's injured, so... With any luck, should be this... I'll put... I'll cap his HQ just to give him something to interrupt. And then I'll put this infantry here as a... Uh, hopefully, if I'm lucky, this mech will go for this interruption right here. And that should mean that it's okay for me to attack this mech right here. There we go, lovely. And then I'm gonna leave that mech, actually. I'm gonna leave it because it's just taking up a bunch of space right now. It's just cluttering things up for him. And then we'll send these recons up as well. Just more recons at this point, I think. Nothing else is really gonna uh, arrive in time. Oh, okay, of course he goes for the HQ. Yeah, I should have known. I think the AI is hard-coded to always interrupt the HQ cap if it can. So, I think he has, like, he has one base available to build things on right now. Uh, depends. Yeah, he has one base. Actually, he will have two now, because I'm not going to survive this. Stupid mechs. Okay, build one more mech. I am very close to getting my superpower right now. This is terrifying. This is absolutely terrifying. But, finally, we get his artillery. Not completely, though. But uh, we can now cap this, which is good, and uh, we really need to... We, we really need to start wiping out his troops right now. The mechs on the bases are gonna be so hard to kill. There we go, and uh, let's see. If we go like this... We can do 76% damage to the mech, which I think is good. Looks like we might actually have to attack his mech on an HQ, though, but I really don't want to do that with tanks. I want to save that job for the infantry, so... Let's give him something to worry about, I guess. Like so. So now those guys are gone. And... Do I really want to do this? Do I really want... I have to. I hate doing this, but I have to do it. I can't let that mech be, be, be walking around at full health. It's gonna... It's gonna kill something important. It's gonna mess with my plants. If I had... If I didn't have the reduced firepower, this would have been a kill. And then we'll just do this. I don't think this will... Oh, oh never mind. It will... <laughs> should have left it alive, honestly. It would have drained funds. It would have drained funds. We'll keep this recon on the base, and here comes the other recons as well. The recon train, as you call it. Choo-choo! Recon train is on its way. Alright, what you gonna do now, you stupid egg? You gonna pop your power again? Huh? Huh? Hmm. Ah! And, oh, he's interrupting the cap, lovely. Yeah, I think the AI will always interrupt the cop cap if it can, which is very good for me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. My firepower is so bad right now. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is absolutely terrible. I have minus 30% firepower right now. I do not want to pop my power. I just do not. Oh, my God. My firepower is so garbage right now. The CO is very interesting. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to stay now, I think. I have to stay around at, at, at this level. Oh, I do so little damage. It's not even funny how little damage I do. So, I think it's probably best if I give him something to interrupt. Because, again, the AI will always interrupt caps. And that saves my other vehicles. Should I just... Should I pop it? 
I could cap and then pop it. Maybe that wouldn't be so bad. Okay, I actually have an idea. I actually have an idea here. I want to pop it. March, soldiers. No breaks. Warning shot. And then I'm going to combine. Oh, wait. Yeah, that may not be such a good idea. Maybe that was a terrible idea. But hey, at least I got my firepower bonus back. And I can repair my recons, so... Probably not a very good good idea, all things considered. But hey, had to try it. Had to try it. Okay. He's gonna go for the interrupt. But hey, at least I have the extra defense now, so that's nice. I'm still gonna get interrupted, obviously, but I think I can keep him from building anything this turn. Maybe. Little do 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 do. Yeah, so he's attacking from a base right here, which is very good for me. I think I might be able to, oh, to like, wipe him out this turn, if I play correctly. Kind of depends on what he builds. Probably a mech. Let's be real, it's gonna be a mech. Okay, I don't think he will interrupt this. He's gonna get his power again, though. Kind of sucks. Oh, he just got it. Okay, so I am repairing normally, I just, I don't know why I thought I didn't. Um, okay, this artillery is essentially useless right now. Oh man, it feels good to be back to good old 30% firepower. I, I still don't know if the global damage is worth it, but it might be, it might be. I don't think I'll be able to wipe him out on this day. God, my, my ranking is going to be terrible. <laughs> I'm good at Advanced Wars, guys. I'm a certified Advanced Wars master. Okay. Um, well, as always, we have to go for these stupid mechs. There we go. And then we'll go down here. Attack this mech right here. Get rid of it. And we can go like this. Again, the, the trick is just to try and keep him on his bases. If we allow him to move off the base, it could be bad for us. And having these two cities helps a lot, actually. Uh, but I actually think I'm gonna drop the cap and just do this now. Because that'll trap the infantry in place. Which is very good, and I'm not gonna kill it, because that allows the mech to move off the base, and we don't want that to happen. There we go, and we got... I don't know if these tanks will arrive. They are day 17. Jesus Christ. This is embarrassing. Is he gonna pop it? I'll not crack under pressure. This guy's really hard to kill. What the? Hmm. Extreme. Alright, so now there's a base available. Fuck. Oh my goodness. Now there's two bases available. God damn it! <laughs> No! <laughs> no! God damn it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He actually moved on to the base to repair. What an idiot. Oh, my goodness. What an idiot. I think I got this now. Maybe. Maybe. Attack with the units on the back first. It's always important to do that in advanced wars. Um, okay, I really need to think right now. So this guy can go here. I think I got it now. I know I've been saying that for, like, the past, like, 15 minutes, but I think I got it now, for real. And we can wipe out this guy. Like so. And then we'll go... I think this might be an... Oh, no, it's not. Definitely not enough. Okay, so we'll do this then. There we go. And how many units do we have left to kill now? We have two units to kill. Honestly, the worms might have been more funny if they if they were timed. There could have at least been different objectives on the worms, I think. I don't know why I'm moving these units. I just want to get a better... I think, I think I'm getting a 300 technique ranking anyway. Um, okay. 46. I please, dear god, let this be a good roll. Fuck. Okay, now I've got to roll really high on my remaining attacks here, because I can only attack this guy with, with two units, so... I want to attack him with my 
9 HP recons. I think two 9 HP recons against the mech on a base should be a kill, especially with 30% extra firepower. Especially with 10% reduced defense. Yeah, this is a done deal. My goodness, that took way longer than I thought. That took way longer than I thought. There we go. Jesus Christ, this was embarrassing. Falter sucks. <laughs> He's terrible. <laughs> He's absolutely garbage. Mission complete. But a fun seal, though. Fun concept. Yeah, it's gonna be like a B rank or whatnot. Yep, for sure. My troops know no match. Well, clearly they do. But that was fun. Uh, let me know which seal. Oh, God, I love it. Looks losing face. It's great. Uh, let me know. Which uh, CO you guys would like to see me feature next against uh, Richard would probably be the, the one. If you want to see Tondra, if you want to see the twins, if you want to see uh, Pyre or Joan. There are there are two CO's that have yet to be added, I think. And then I'm probably going to do the final of Monsters by Webstream soon and add the winner to... Uh, I think we have three slots remaining in total, so... Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed this uh, match, let me know about it. Give this video a like and a comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.